Hey, uh, Cole, <laughs> you got a really bad white spot in the sky of that image. Look at well, it. It's really see, obnoxious. Have you heard of the despeckle tool, John? Seriously. Oh, I can't, <laughs> can't even believe that you would show that. I mean, spot your images. Jeez. Uh, Cole, those are stars. <laughs> <laughs> They're stars. That's... That's not, I clean my sensor. I know you don't clean your I sensor. would despeckle that puppy. Okay. And I would remove whatever that, it's like a white spot. Is that like a sensor spot? What is that? That's the moon. Oh, that's the moon. What a dumb M -O -O -N thing. M-O-O-N moon. Totally ruins the picture. If, if that moon wasn't in there, it'd be a killer shot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you know, hey. these... These what? comments are going to feed into what we're going to be talking about today, because as you mentioned in the last episode, we, we teased were both, people in the we last teased episode. people. So they're dying to tune in. <laughs> and we were both standing at Jekova. We had a brief weather moment where it just became a nice day. Yeah. Uh, stay not is in sunny skies, but be, yeah. see something. <laughs> you could actually you actually see something beyond the yeah. water in front of you. Yeah. Or the fog, yeah. yeah. And we both shot that and then looked at each other's images and commented how we ought to show people how we saw differently. Yeah. And I think that you spent all last week preparing this incredibly <laughs> elaborate slideshow with two slides on it. So <laughs> That's, it was really hard. I had to remember what program, how do you drag and drop them in there, stuff like that. It was. It took me, took me a couple of days to figure it out. Are you okay. ready? Here we go. We're gonna work. So, folks, here it is. We're standing, and it's really important. We're standing literally ten feet apart. I mean, I tried to be really close. He always gets a little anxious. We were right next to each other. <laughs> yeah, we really were. And we didn't look until we had already completed the photographs. And then we had a little dialogue, which we'll kind of do again here. So here we go. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to get this up. And here we go. So, Cole, you can see that, right? Yep, I can see that. Yep. So there's Cole's take on, on this uh, lovely scene where we had a little bit of sunlight. You can see that in the water out there. And this beautiful feature out in the, uh, in the distance. So here's mine. Completely different. Completely different. You know, no foreground, a foreground. And then here they are together just to show you how significant the uh, the difference really is. And you know, uh, obviously you've got some detail in that island there. I don't. I've, you know, completely blocked it out. I'm very underexposed. You're more what we would call a proper exposure. Yeah. We both did a long exposure, though. Yes. Well, you really darkened the sky above that white yeah. cloud area, you know, and I tend not to go that dark. Um, and it just I, illustrates there our whole group was there. It would be fun to get everyone's image from there. I'm sure we would see some color images, some much brighter images, some stills. Yeah, uh, We have a great variety. And yeah, it, and, and so I made a comment. I I, I think, by the way, do you, it must be so subtle you don't see it. Which do you prefer? And I just have a subtle, very low opacity John's at the bottom, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and ignore the which do you prefer. That was just to be silly because because that's not something that we like even doing, right? Comparison, I think as Teddy Roosevelt said, is the thief of joy. But it was an interesting dialogue that Cole and I had. I mentioned, I think I know why these two images at least are what they are. And I mentioned to Cole that he, if you have been listening to this program, and if you haven't been, well, doggone it, get your priorities in order, listen, because you'll miss pearls of wisdom like this one where, where Cole said he does everything he can possibly do to simplify his images. So what, what he's doing is, you know, using long exposures, not only for the sky to simplify, but the water to simplify. And what, what was very abundantly clear to me with his take on the scene was he's also simplifying the amount of elements and detail 
that's in the scene because that whole foreground that I include, and to me, that curve of that little peninsula going out is really important element to bring the eye in to the frame and out to the feature out in the background there. It, I suspect, Cole, and, and you go ahead and tell me that that's way too much detail for your eye, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and in fact, we'll be doing an episode here shortly, another tease about <laughs> simplification where I'm going to talk about how I simplify an image. And one of them is simply to not include things that might compete with where I think is the subject. Yeah. Now, yeah. what's really important about this is, is if you were in a workshop and a workshop leader came up and looked at your image and said, maybe looking at mine, uh, you really need to put some more detail in that island. And uh, you're underexposed. See, look at your histogram. You're way over to the left. You need to bring that to the right. And they'd have all sorts of advice. And I think it's important for us to all remember that's just an opinion. And that opinion of his is formed through his vision, through his likes and dislikes, through how he's been taught to properly photograph. It's of absolutely no value to you or your vision. Yeah. And that's why I say never. There, there are experts in many things in photography. Uh, you know a lot about post processing, and if I have a problem, I'll go and ask John, and he knows how to do it. But there's one thing John is not an expert in: my vision. Yeah. So no way. Just don't listen to people who tell you you ought to do this or you ought to do that. Yeah. I mean, the big one they would have said is put a foreground there, which is what I did. But that's my vision, not your vision. I did go ahead and include this one, too, just because you and I, after we had that discussion, yeah. you know, you said uh, maybe it was somebody else who was including that left side there. Right. Which I had not included. I felt like it was too much. And I think I still prefer the previous image uh, better. But. You know, there's another right answer, if you will, right? That's just a, another option. So there's three different takes from one spot. And I agree with you. I think if we looked at uh, others from our group, we'd probably see, I'm trying to find a way to get out of this. There we go. Um, and we'd have some, I'm sure, color images and still images and uh, super wide, super tight. I mean, sure, sure. I mean, just what floats your boat. Yeah, or what your vision sees as you would say so yeah. all righty well i think that was a good demonstration of uh how different we see at, at one location i suspect there's going to be times where ours are going to be very similar actually yeah. maybe closer to the same but I, that was a really excellent uh, opportunity and, and there's been opportunity there's been times where we'll both shoot it i like yours better than mine yeah you know um yep. Yeah, but that doesn't, doesn't happen very, very often, often, folks. <laughs> I would say that's a, a real, 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 real Asian. Yeah, okay, so I would agree. Yeah. That's okay. Right. All right. Hey, get that to speckle tool out and fix that image. Get rid of that spot.